Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Alright, before we go in and begin the serious negotiations, as Renoa put it, put it, as our boss put it, Squall seemed to think we need to get, we would need our junction, so I have him set up, as we can see here. So we've got uh, Ifrit and Siren set on uh, Zell, and we've got Strength and Break attack, uh, junction to his magic now. Uh, break is our next, I guess you can say, magic junction, so to speak. One of the best spells at this point in the game to do to do so um, without playing excessive amounts of cards. Uh, for fi uh, I got uh, elemental attack here. I got a fire junction there, and I've got uh, the important part here is the silence junction to Zell's defense. And blind is just there, just because we've got it. <laughs> just a junction. It, but yeah. All right. So in the terms of commands, got to dry item and guardian force and strength plus twenty percent there. And for Squall, I've got. Shiva and Diablo's junction on him with the magic junction, as you can see there. I did give him all of the Asunas, just, you know, you got more use for it than uh, uh, anybody else, really. And for abilities, you got Dry Item Magic and Vitality plus 20%. And for Selfie, she's got Kazakotal on her with Cure and Break, as you, can, as you can see there. And Dry Item Magic and Magic plus 20%. Alright, that out of the way. Uh, as for Guardian Force abilities, I've got Kazakotl still learning card mod. Uh, Shiva put her on Vitality plus 40%. Uh, Ifrit, I put him back on Strength plus 40%. Uh, for Siren, I put her back on Magic plus 20%. And for Diablos, I put him back on HP, HP Junction. So, there we go. Alright. As ready as we'll ever be, I guess. Let's go. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to go up against uh, the fake president. Alright, well, alright, first of all, uh, doesn't have much, he just has cure, I'm gonna actually draw some of it, oh, not selfie, uh, who's missing, there we go, Zell's missing some, alright, so, let's just attack, not much, Nothing, nothing special about him. Uh, anywhere from I'm expecting around uh, at least 388 hit points, and he is 90% susceptible to slow. So if you've uh, managed to get a hold of that spell so far, you can use it on him, and it'll probably hit 90% of the time. <laughs> Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. And yeah, the reason why I had to kept uh, Zell to uh, stock some cures is because I used cures for my stock to you know, heal up. Whoa! What kind of a... Body... Ready then, this is the true boss, Garo Garo. <laughs> I think I remember seeing what the actual name is in the Japanese version. It is completely different. But anyways, all right, so Garo Garo. He has, I'm expecting him to have around, around 20, 2,150 hit points. Uh, his uh, draw list is Isuna, Double, Berserk, and Zombie. 
Uh, this is an opportunity to draw as soon as, but I do have another opportunity later on in the game I intend to make use of. But if you choose to do so, uh, just be aware this guy does, he is undead, and he does use a lot of uh, um, status attacks. So just be aware of that. It may just, it may be a li little more frustrating than, uh, than, uh, you may enjoy, uh, you know, drawing 300 as soon as for, from him, so yeah. But anyways, uh, he's weak to hol very weak to holy, so holy attacks do three times damage. Unfortunately, we don't ha I don't have any of those, uh, that kind of magic or anything like that. Uh, weak to fire and earth, uh, you know, double damage with those, and it is immune to bio, as one, one might expect. Um, the interesting thing is that it says it's 100% uh, weak to death. I think that's kind of, well, the thing is undead, so I think, well, I think it might mean that you can actually use a phoenix down on it and it will one-shot it, so that is something to consider. I'm not going to bother, you know, I mean, don't need it, um, but yeah, another, uh, obviously, curative stuff works on them as well, and yeah, so... Anyways, uh, so as far as attacks go, attacks go, the number one one you want to watch out for is... Bra, best way I can say it. <laughs> you'll know you'll know what I mean if he uses it in battle. Anyways, it, it hits one at one of us. It'll hit it's a single target, but it inflicts slow, blind, curse, and does non-elemental damage. So yeah, um, and pretty much any other spells you use, he can use silence, berserk, sleep, dispel, and he's got a physical attack as well. So in any case, with that out of the way, let's uh, weak to fire. So can okay, just summon a free tier. I'm just going to have uh, Squall and Selfie pretty much just be in charge of healing and uh, any uh, status ailments that may come up. Uh, yeah, let's, let's heal up. And this is why I have Silence Junction to Zell's status defense. It should only take two shots from Ifrit to uh, take him out, but, uh, you know, just in case. Might as well uh, have Squall on standby, so to speak, to uh, attack if need be. Yeah, the only, re the only reason I really went with uh, the Ifrit, I guess one good reason why I went with, uh, you know, taking him out with Ifrit, is because instead of the Phoenix Down, simply because, well, one, you end up losing your Phoenix Down out of that, and in this case you don't lose the Phoenix Down, but you gain a, a little quicker summoning time with uh, Zell and, between Zell and Ifrit there, so, yeah. A bit higher compatibility. Eight zombie powders, 20 AP, no experience as usual. And no president. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. 
the wedge <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't remember seeing that. <laughs> yeah, what could it be? <laughs> I don't know if it's something as important as making sure as many people hear it as possible. Oh wow, they haven't even used radio waves for 17 years. Ugh. That'd be great, but, well, I don't know. I was just thinking that attempting to kidnap the president might change his tune to wanting to declare Timbers independence, but it was just a body double, so he probably did expect something like this. So, he may still be okay. He may have uh, changed his ways, who knows. What would have happened? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess it's not a bad idea. I'll really use Zell. Mm. Yeah, that is kind of odd. But let's check up on our uh, contract. Just to see exactly, you know, what we're expected, what is exactly expected of us. As far as our, our employment goes. Oh, wow. She actually... She's okay with it. I mean, I can see how somebody do, asking a question that of their boss, you know, the, the employer could be a little uh, uh, anxious about that kind of a, a request, but she seems to be okay with it. All right, Blumgarden, here after referred to as Party A. So Blumgarden is Party A, acknowledges the Forest Owls, Party B as the Hiring Party. Yeah, okay. Seed, here after referred to as Party C, shall be dispatched upon signing this contract. Party C shall operate under the supervision. Go ahead, Zell. I don't know, I was... No. It was just like trying to simplify the uh, the number of words, I guess. I would prefer the official document, but I guess the letter is okay. Let's see what it says. To the forest owls, this seed deployment contract will last until Temper achieves independence. Wow! <laughs> Well, please make good use of each seed member. I wish you the best with your objective. Please understand that this contract is an exception and no replacement of it. Any seed members can be made. Plum Garden Headmaster Sid Kramer. Wow. No kidding. Definitely inspires one to keep an open mind about what the president might want to say <laughs> to everybody <laughs> about, you know, declaring Timbers independence. But until it's official, our focus needs to be on our employer's objectives, for lack of a, a better term. All right, so we're going to the TV station. Oh, we got Squall and Renoa. Let's br let's bring Selfie along. Uh, yeah, let's switch junctions between Renoa and Zo. All right. Now, if you recall, Renoa's limit break involves walking around with Angelo. 
And we've already, he's already got two abilities here learned, but wasn't there three in the tutorial? Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's what those Pet Pals magazines are for. Uh, you read them and then they give you new uh, limit breaks that Angelo, or tricks that Angelo can do. However, I'm not going to read it just yet because there is still one more, well, well, one magazine we can pick up on this train and there is still the matter of the card that I would like to pick up. Not to mention there's one more thing I would like to do with regards to the card rules uh, before we leave the train. So first of all, let's head up to uh, Renoa's room and pick up the magazine. Hey Angelo, which is Pet Pals Volume 2. Alright. Now the thing is, is that obviously there's there's multiple uh, just to go back into Renault's uh, limit break with Angelo. Uh, as you get, there's multiple moves that he can do. The thing is, you don't actually choose which one Angelo does, which means there's a a, a certain amount of randomness to it to what's chosen, and it's you can kind of influence you know increase odds of increase your odds of a a favored uh, trick to happen by limiting the number of tricks that you learn you know one would think that i don't know for sure if that is exactly what can happen or what does happen but to be honest there's only really one angelo limit break that i'm definitely intend on learning for sure and we haven't gotten the magazine yet so i'll uh, learn i'll set that up when uh, when uh, you know when the time comes but anyways all right so first of all let's uh, save it just in case i need to uh, either well, one either screw up or two need to reset no, well yes both of them result would result in me resetting but anyways all right so the card I would like to pick up is is in the possession of Watts here. So first, before we go after the card, I want to spread a rule. So when anytime you go into a new region where you have at least one rule in your uh, uh, one rule that that region does not have, then the person you challenge to play will say something like this that they want to you know they'll ask if you want to uh, combine rules. In which case. Yes, we want to combine them. Because there's a variety of things that can happen when you do that. Okay, so obviously we came with the open and the open rule and we've got the trade rule one in effect. That's not the important part. The important ones are the rules of open and same. Same is the rule that Watts is supplying. We're supplying the open rule. So they're combined, so that's the rules. So what I want to do, I actually want to quit out of here and hopefully open will spread. Nothing happened. All right, and doesn't want to do it. All right, so I guess we gotta reset and uh, try again. But yeah, there's a number of things that can happen anytime you try to manipulate rules like that. In that, one, you can either you'll either end up spreading one of the rules that you're carrying to the new region. Um, you'll abolish one of the rules that is in the region, or nothing will happen. In which case you'll end up with like it just did where nothing happened in which case you end up with the with uh, the current that region's rules so you know when nothing happened if i were to challenge him again uh it would only show up as same being the only the only uh, you know uh game rule in, a, in effect kind of thing open would not exist so that's why we had to reset and i hope i explain this clear enough uh, for you know the viewers to understand you viewers to understand but uh, try to keep it as simple as possible but uh, when you write it out on paper you know about what exactly goes on you can see how simple it kind of it really is all right so there's open and same again And the red open rule has spread. Awesome. So now he has well, this. The timber region is the 
Galbadia region in terms of cards. So we've just added the open rule to the Galbadia region. So I want to save it again, since we've got that out of the way. And now I'm actually going to challenge him for the card I'm looking for. Alright, let's see if we can get it in the first try. As you noticed, he did not ask to miss rules because, well, we both are carrying the open and same rules. Alright, so let's play. Alright, um... Alright, let's just go with our usual stuff. So, Cypher, do I want to use Zell? Um... I'm going to want the Melboro. I'm probably going to want the... Uh, probably the Elastoid. Let's get Freet. Hmm... Let's go with the Zell card instead. Instead of the... Uh, no, okay, it didn't show up. Alright, so let's finish this game off and then uh, go off off screen until I uh, and play him until he plays the card I'm looking for so let's see uh, yeah. all right do I need anything special here Really? Well, there's the turtle pod we have not picked up yet, so let's pick that up. But yeah, so I'll uh, keep challenging Watts here until he plays the card I'm looking for, and I'll be back well, when he uh, plays it. And there it is. All right, let's see if we can get it. The Angelo card. Alright, so I didn't go to say too much about it because it didn't really come into play, but the same rule, all it means is that if two or more cards, uh, if, you, if you put down a card, let's say uh, the Gesper card on the, uh, the in the middle and the bottom there, if he had played that and the Adamant Toys and the Melboro card each had one facing it, uh, the, the number one facing it instead of like the five on the, uh, the Adamant Toys and the seven on the Melboro, as soon as he play, if he were to play that guest book card uh, beside those two cards, he would flip both of those cards because it satisfies the same rule. So that's basically what the same rule does. So yeah, basically it gives you a bit of an edge in terms of you know if you don't quite have a, a card that's high enough, if you can trigger a same rule where you've got uh, two numbers that are going to be equal on, uh, on two or more sides, then you should be okay, then it'll help. But uh, generally I try to keep uh, um, extra rules other than one uh, out of it, or not one, uh, pardon me, other than open out of it, just simply because it keeps the game a lot simpler. So, mm, pardon me. All right, and there's the Angelo card. And as usual, I'll have all of the uh, cards that I won off screen posted in the video description. Actually, pretty much, uh, like, up to this point, I've just basically been posting every card that I accumulate in that episode in the video description. So, yeah, I think I'll just keep doing that. So, if you're curious about the uh, how my collection's coming in terms of, you know, the cards that I pick up each episode, then by all means take a look there. But, uh, again, it probably won't be too applicable to your playthrough unless by some weird miracle you're getting the exact same cards as I am. But, uh, yeah, so... Anyways, so we got the Angelo card. Awesome. All right, and let's talk to these guys. Let's see what they have to say. What would Cypher have to do with the forest owls? 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> Talking in his sleep, I guess? I don't know. Yeah. That would explain why the uh, final issue was had a blurred out section of it. It was cut off. Uh, I don't want to say anything about that remark, but anyways, all right, uh, Forrest Salazar, yeah, sure, hear him out. Watson Zone's fathers founded the Forest Owls, okay. Eighteen years ago, on the day before the big invasion, I guess in the invasion of Timber, there was an all-out hunt for Resistance members. Watson Zone's fathers both died to protect everyone in the city. Galbadian soldiers shot them in front of everybody as a warning. Everybody looked away as they were executed, but Watson Zone were watching. They saw the whole thing. Dylan glared down at the two of them like they were dirty rats. He had just become president, so to show his power... Oh, wow. I can definitely see how that could inspire someone to join them after hearing a story like that, but... Ow! It doesn't exactly apply, but it kind of reminds me of uh, a line I heard in the movie uh, Demolition. If you haven't seen that movie, I actually highly recommend it. It's a it's a very interesting story. Um, there's one line in it where one of the characters says, "Anytime a child loses a parent, they become an orphan." Whenever a, a husband loses a wife, or a wife loses a, a or a wife loses a husband, they become a widower or a widow. But there is no word to describe a parent who has lost a child. But anyways, on that sombering note of the story of Azone and Watts's parent, father, and their their history behind the forest owls. And we have picked up the Pit Pals Volume Two, Pit Pals Volume Two, as well as gotten the Angelo card from Watts and spread open to the Galbadia region. I guess all that remains is to uh, head back to Timber and make our way towards the TV station. This is Intrepid, Intrepid 83 signing off. Thank you for watching and have a good one.